What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the RTG Career Mode, it's episode number 38, it's all gone wrong! Uh, we won the FO Cup obviously in the last episode against Burnley, uh, and then what followed was just a bit of a disaster, we then knocked out the FA Cup, of course we had a holders last 16 uh, to Aston Villa, and we drew 1-1 with Brentford and then lost 3-2 away in Lisbon in the first leg of our Europa League last 16. Today we'll have the reverse fixture in South Wales, where I still think we can overcome the deficit there and make it through to the quarters, uh, and we'll have more big games in the Premier League as well, whereas you'll see with 10 games to go, uh, 10 games, 12 games to go, with three points beyond Man City, though we do have the game in hand right now, four clear of Manchester United, a game in hand on them as well, the most important thing is, yes, I want to stay in the title race, but just keep the chase in back of bay as we try and cling on to a top four place, and we can do that with a win in our first game, first game today, Gary O'Neill's Wolves in South Wales, and to get back to any ways here, after none in our last three, in all competitions, come on you Swans. We love that, we love that, we love that. That's great work from Koi to that. And Tattoo steps inside. Oh, and Loney back in South Wales making the sprawling save to his uh, to his right. Still goalless. If you remember at Molyneux, he, he had a blinder. Completely shut me out in uh, what was eventually a 3-0 loss. And now back in South Wales trying to prevent his parent club from staying in the title race. Hero, well, potentially hero in the making to Willem. Okay. Swansea right for the break, use of the take, last chance of the half I'd say, good delivery, oh what a save by the lone again, to be fair it was central but I had to adjust his body well to be fair, sometimes those are really tricky saves for goalkeepers to make as well, like obviously I, I said before I used to play in goal when I played football a lot as a junior, never at this level obviously, but uh, sometimes saves that are close to the body are actually quite hard to make because you've got to readjust, and that was an excellent stop there. And once again, he's thwarted me in another half. Three halves out of four when a low knee has just been on it, man. I tell you, look, Carl won the Golden Glove last year. There's no doubt about it. When Clark comes back, I'm definitely thinking maybe I knew number one. Let's just say Scott Clark has uh, definitely put himself in the shop window for a move permanently elsewhere or to come back here and be our number one. Keep running, Matondo. Keep running. Koita Clark again, once again, not the most difficult of saves, but he still had to make it, goodness gracious, our low knee has been brilliant in both of these games, man, I'm definitely thinking, as Rod and Tedder is also saved, sprawling to his right, I'm definitely thinking in the summer, listen, we love Carl, Golden Glove winner last year, but maybe, just maybe, with Clark's potential to be special, and once again, absolutely brilliant performance in our second game against him, lone Carl out next year, Bring Clark back and have him as our number one. He's been absolutely sensational. This, this, is like a, this is like a generational talent goalkeeper, man. As I think Matondo's going to be offside. There he is. I can't believe it, honestly. Whilst the unbeaten run continues in the league, doesn't distract from the back. It's back-to-back -back draws in the league. Back-to-back slip-ups. And no wins in four in all competitions. And much for me to ponder, not for the rest of the season, but for next season. Because that man there, once again, put on a show in his audition in front of the Jack Army. <sighs> Brilliant goalkeeping again, man. He was, he was unbeatable, literally. Right, following game, no wins in four. And now we've got to pull something special out of the bag to overcome the deficit. So, in 3-2 from the first leg in Lisbon, we now welcome Benfica to South Wales for the second leg of our Europa League last 16. I said when this title was drawn, it'd be a difficult one. It certainly has been. We need to overcome this deficit to make the quarters. Come on, you swans. I still feel we'll score tonight, no doubt about it. But the real question is, can we defend better? Because after shipping three in Lisbon, it could have been more... And already we put ourselves in a deeper half. Eight minutes in, Henri Carral makes it 1-0. The Swans are sinking right now. Easy, easy, easy. You can tackle Dylan, but doesn't come away with a ball. And now Raul through the gap. Ten step. Top scorer in Europe this season. Denied by Captain Carl tonight as we're still leading by one in his frustration. He's on full display saying, guys, I can't keep bailing you out. Who do you think I am? Scott Clark? <laughs> as we're still... Down by one, and it's not looking good here. At some point, I think I'm going to have to wave the white flag and say, do you know what? We've got the ability, but we haven't got the experience yet. You know, we're not there yet. Benfica got so much European pedigree. They're a team with rich European history. Swansea have only been to Europe that one time back in 2014. I think back then, it was Napoli that knocked them out. Well, this year, in our first tenure of the save, it's going to be Benfica. This tie is over. 
And this could become free here. This is this is getting a bit embarrassing. This is this is getting a, this is getting a little bit embarrassing. And don't get me wrong. Even, oh, the woodwork rattled. E even when you know the game's over. Listen, oh referee, um, you've got to yeah straight red card. Straight red card. You got to at least play for a bit of pride. Well, Bjorn Meyer with a terrible tackle. That was awful. There's no need for that. Well, I do I do wonder if maybe it's giving us a glimmer of hope. There'll be a whole half to play with a man advice. We still need three goals. Stranger things have happened. So the second half begins. Not going to wave the white flag yet. If we get to around the 65, 70 minute mark and we're still down by two, or God forbid worse, then uh, I'll, I'll take the stars off then. But if we can get off to a good start in this second half, if you don't mind, guys, I need to concentrate for this attack here because we might not get any better than this. Canudan to Koita. There we go. Ah, oh, straight as Samuel Suarez. That's what we wanted, though. Fast start in the second. We just need one goal. One goal, and the whole complexion of the night can change. That's going to be Jordan's. There we go. There we go. There we go. Keep running, Jordan. Keep running. I see you. I see you. Don't think I don't see you, because I do. But first, he's going to come to Sinister. Now, stay forward for the attack, please. Canoonan's there as well. And Anton right from time. Right, 25 minutes to go. That's not going to count double, I'm afraid, AK. But we've got one back. We still need another two, but there is time. Oh, hang on. Ah, okay, come on, come on, come on. 15 to go, and is there going to be enough time for us to get two chances, let alone two goals? They're doing a good job of just keeping hold of the ball and slowing the tempo down. This, this is what a team needs to do in a situation like this. It's very clever. Very clever indeed. But as Dedic wins it back, right. Kreutz through. Kanuna run. Kanuna keep running. Because I know it's a bit cheap. But I need it. Seven on the clock to salvage extra time. Come on. This is it. Last chance. Minute to go. And oh, they're just brilliantly. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, you can be proud of the comeback, but at the end of the day, you put yourself in a hole like that. What do you expect, man? What do you expect? Trailing 2-0 in the first half an hour. And as soon as we did that, we knew it was going to take a miracle to come back from. Kanunen is not God, even though you can be mistaken sometimes. We fought hard. We battled back. We got a draw, but it's still a defeat overall. It's my fault though, I got off to an awful, awful start. You can't beat yourself in a hole like that and expect to make it through. Gutting. I don't know what you guys are saying to me, but as soon as I've been knocked out of a competition, I want to see who the team that beat me have got in the next round, and it's going to be Benfica. Oh, I reckon we could take Wolfsburg as well. I reckon we could have taken them. I mean, don't get me wrong, some amazing... I mean, they're all amazing teams there, to be fair. <laughs> Whoever we would have faced would have been tough, but I reckon we could have, we could have taken Wolfsburg. But... There we go. So now, now it all becomes about the league. Cup's gone. Europe's gone. It's all about the league now. 11 to go with five behind Man City who lead the way. We still do have that game now. But again, the most important thing to me is we stay away from Newcastle. We're three points above heading into the following game against them at St. James's. If we lose it, we'll drop out of the top four and that'll be no wins in six in all competitions. But if we win it, we'll then go six clear and still have a game in hand on... No, we won't. We'll be six clear with 10 to go, and Destiny will be on our own hands. Just got to bounce back here and finally get a win. Massive clash next at St. James's. Cam on the bench for the first time since his broken toe as well. I wouldn't say he's been the reason why we struggled. I'd like to use that as an excuse, but I can't. But it said the Gomez injury was... Oh, <laughs> the Gomez injury was the tough one because he is just an elite DM man, honestly. Absolutely brilliant. And already we try. Oh, it's all, it's all going wrong. It's, it's all going wrong. But these, these, are, these are the runs here, man. Like Every team is going to go through them. But I say this a lot. It's why, if you do have a defeat, you want to bounce back as soon as possible. Because you have no idea. Well, maybe you do. If you play CM, you definitely do. It is so hard to get yourself out of bad form. It's, it's incredibly OP. So when you're on a run... It's, it's brilliant. You feel like you can beat anyone, home or away. I mean, we had like a, what was it, like a nine-game winning run earlier this season. You know, when, when you go on a run, you just feel like you win every game. When you go on like a, a, a streak of like three losses on the bounce or whatever, every game you go into, you feel like you're completely up against it from the first whistle. That is just how OP form is. 
corner. Got a strike from this one. Tattoo's delivery. Decent. Don't Third of the year, I think. Swans level it. Come on, we need to win this, though. We've been on such a barren run without wins. We need to turn this game on his head and win it. Tattoo, win that, win that, win that, win that. Keep saying, there you come, there you come, there you come, there you come. Hold on. That'll no, do that. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Come on. Come on, it's yours. It wouldn't. And let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Oh, I tell you what, I'm so tense right now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm literally gripping the controller with might as if someone's trying to take it out of my hands. Because I think we've been the better team. Sit us down, no miners with a save. <sighs> we'll still we'll still be three points clear in Newcastle, still in the top four, but can we need we need to win this man. I need to win this. Tattoo once again looking for Dedish Martinez claims. Come on, come on, come on. Oh well, hold up! What a hold up no how's he fuck? Come on! How have I missed there, honestly? That's terrible. That's literally the perfect hold up and I've fluffed the bloody finish. No, 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 don't lose it, don't lose it. Oh, what a tackle, Joe. And again, and again, and again. Kreuter's on because he was just in his own half. I saw it, I saw the blade of grass. Kreuter for the winner, oh! God damn it, how many times? Why does it we try and finesse it to the far corner and it goes near post? It's the most infuriating thing. It's like, clearly, I'm not trying to do that. Oh, my God. I want to just throw this controller out the bloody window, but I can't because I'd have to go and retrieve it because I've only got one. Oh, my God. I don't get angry, but right now I'm teetering on the edge of anger, so I'm just going to have to calm myself down and apologise for losing my temper a little bit. Why and why sometimes when you're trying to finesse it to the far corner with the, the stronger foot, that it go straight to keep it? It's infuriating. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold on to this. I really don't. No wins in three in the league. Three points taken from nine. I can't, I can't see us staying in this title. Well, we won't stay in this title race playing like this. We're going to have to beat Man City right now, leading the way. On the top of the tree. How we won that game. We then beat Guardiola. So we go top with nine to go. But instead right now. Look at how tense it is man. Seven points separating the top six. Really who's your money on? I can't see us dropping out of the top six from here. But the question is. Can we hold on to a top four place? Forget the title. It's a bonus. Don't get me wrong. I'm just thinking right now. Can we stay in top four? Right. Uh, so before we play the game. Though, drill briefly. Two youth player unsettled emails. I saw this um, pre-game. Uh, Siaka Traore and uh, the Irish attacking mid who looks unbelievable. Traore is already 72 rated. And Brennan, oh my goodness gracious me. When I said we were waiting for this guy here, 90 to 94 potential, already high, high work rates on balance. You know he's my sort of player. Definitely getting that pro deal. And uh, I'll add them both to the loan list and try and loan them out in the, uh, in the summer window. Cam, you've been out for three months, mate. What are you talking about? Sorry, I'm getting angry. I need to calm myself down. Um, now, let me, let me take a, let me take a, hold on a second, guys. Let me take a breather and I'll come back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's not me. That's not me. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so Brennan has the potential to be special, which, as we expect, will uh, land to the loans. But again, this, this is why um, it, it's best to promote your youth players either in the summer uh, window um, of a new season, and Traore shows great potential, in the summer window... Um, or before or in January, because you want to make sure you can loan them out, because what you don't want to do is have them get to the end of the season where they've barely played or played at all, because uh, what will happen is, as, as many of you guys point out in the comments, they'll, the EA will see those stats there, zeros across the board, and say, okay, this guy's clearly trash, let's downgrade his potential, when the reality is, he just hasn't any, had any time to play or get loaned out so he can play elsewhere, so it's why you want to make sure you loan your players out at the start of the season, or, or midway through before the uh, the January window comes to an end. And I'm, I'm guilty of doing that, like in this case as well. So I think definitely for, for whatever my next career mode is, that's something that I do need to, to work on because clearly it's, uh, it's let me down. Right, following game, no wins in our last six in all competitions. Three points taken from nine in the league. Man City at home, four points behind Guardia the side. Even a win and we'll still be in second, but... It'll be a much needed one to keep us in the title race and most crucially, keep us in the top four. A big ask to bounce back with a win here. But it's coming. We're playing well. We just need to get over that line. Can we do it in perhaps one of the biggest games and perhaps the biggest league game remaining this season? Come on, you swans. This Manchester City team is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I think I counted six 90-plus rated players in it. 
<laughs> including this man on the ball right now, Erling Haaland. And I don't think 65 rated Jamal Lowe is, uh, is a match for this team, but he is a big game play. He practically always comes up big for me in the big games. But I don't know if he's got any more magic left in a tank in his final season in pro football. Foden fires. Like we're, ju we're just not at this level yet, man. We've been performing above expectations all season. Like we're, ju we're just not at this level yet. It's going to be no wins in seven in all competitions. I, I, uh, we're just not there yet. I feel like it's a simple case of we've gone too quick. You know, it happens every now and then. The team goes too quick, and I feel like we have. We're not at this level yet. I'm not even sure we're a Champions League team yet, to be honest. We've got a lot of players pushed forward here. If they do get the ball away, we'll have a chance to, uh, to, to break with the pace we got. But instead, they're passing so accurate. And Erling Haaland's finished. Oh, ordinarily so good. You don't often say this. Erling Haaland misses the target. Massive let off down. We're still only trailing by one, but it's, it's not looking good. We need, we need a goal before the break. And unfortunately, I haven't seen Edison's goal yet. <laughs> the level is clearly just a bit too much for us to uh, to compete with, I feel. Jamal. Jamal! Always believe in your soul. You've got the power to know you're indestructible. Always believe in Jamal. Oh my god! 65 rated! Gets past Riddica and smashes it in. One last dance for Jamal. One last big game. One last goal. Swans level it. Foden trying to get around Dedic. No, no, no. Oh. Okay, it's fine. The ball control is so, so good. So you just... Bellingham. You're not going to score from there, mate. Can't... No, you are joking me! Well, what I will say is this. We, we've had our fair share of lucky goals this season. It's true. We, we, have, we have had our fair share of lucky goals this season. Remember the Scott Sterling incident against Bolton? Uh, Bolton sorry. Do you remember the goal against Everton where the centre-half just stopped? But I don't think we've seen a goal like that this year. Oh, no. Carl, it just squirms under his body. I've got to pick the control on keep playing. I can't. That's solid. It's over. 14 to go. Clinging on for a point. And I think you've got to say that's a card error, haven't you? Let's be honest here. I think you've got to say that's a card error. It was going wide for a corner. And in trying to prevent it, he gives away a goal. Oh, dear. It's over. Sinister has just gone down as well. So... As if it couldn't get any worse, we now have got an injury for uh, for one of our more important pieces. And can we get one last chance here? Sinistera hobbling, so he's going to need a teammate to run with him. And the referee blows for full time, because Jordan would have been onside there as well. One of those games where you don't get the luck. But luck will balance itself out, and I'm the first to admit I've had a bit of it this season. This is the game where Karma catches up to us. Desperately trying to see out a point, Carl drops a clanger. And Man City take a massive step towards the title. We're just not there yet. Poor Jamal, what more could he have done? And it gets worse post-game. Sinistera breaks his toe, done for the season. And you know that old saying, when it rains, it pours. Well, right now, I am getting drenched out there. No wins in our last seven games. Sinistera now done for the campaign. And I have to say, the, t the, t the title dream was always a very unlikely one. It's officially gone now, there's no doubt about that. And the, the, on the only question is, can we stay in the race for a top four place. Forget the title. Man, Man City are going to run away with it now. The only question is, can we keep ourselves where we are, which is clinging on to a top four place? 
Following game, Gunners away. They need to win this one in North London in order to make a run for the tight uh, for the for the top four. Sorry, uh, currently with 43 points on the board and 12 behind Manchester United. They have to win this game against the struggling Swans. But if we bounce back with a win here, maybe just maybe. With nine games to go, we can get on a run and keep ourselves in the top four and keep Aston Villa and Newcastle at bay. Massive clash here as we aim to bounce back. Come with you, Swans. It's almost like we made a deal with the FC Devil, you know? Yes, Doxy boy, you can win a major honour this year, but as soon as you win it, you're going to lose every other game. Well, maybe not lose, but fail to win every other game. Because we haven't won since that... Uh... Oh, what a start! We haven't won since that Carabao Cup final victory against Burnley, but uh, Dan James in the team gives us the opener at the Emirates Stadium. Well, maybe we're, uh, we're going to say to the devil, screw you, we'll win our next one. Four minutes in, it's four in nine for Dan. Good goal to game ratio and limited game time this year in the Swans. Have the, have the lead in North London. Okay. Yeah, we had that well done, Hillman. And now Morgan to Yusuf. And I've... Oh, what a... First game back for Cameron! First game since the layoff. And Cameron and Chow back in the team. See the Swans restore their confidence. Two up in 13. What a st where's this come from? Well, Arsenal have been inconsistent all season long. So I shouldn't be too surprised by this. But I've had to make a few alterations due to fitness and fatigue out there. Again, Cam and Jao coming back in. I think that would be a boost. But I didn't think it would be this big of a boost. Oh, not again. Cam's gone down again. But it's all right because this play continues. Coita sees James for the third. Ramsdale with a save and turn behind for a corner. Cam going down once again in his combat game as we're still up by two. But if that's the cost for a return to winning ways. So beer. Tedich makes it free. Well, well, where is this come from? Well, it's proof that we're nowhere near as bad of a team as we've been looking like recently based on results alone. Ball, Gomez. And I think Archer was offside. Yeah, flags on the far side. It's not going to count anyway. But I did not expect this. This is one of those moments during the season, and you'll have them, I'll have them, we all have them, where it's like form book goes completely out the window, and the result comes out of left field. You know when you're like top of the table, you've won the last six in a row, and you take it on 16th place, and you get spanked at home 4-0. You know, it's like, huh? This is, this is this kind of game, just the opposite way around. There's no wins in seven... And we're, we're freeing it up at the break against Arsenal in North London. This is like that, that meme of the cat. Huh? Huh? No, 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 no. Oh, Gonzalo Ramos. What a finish that was by the, uh, the number nine. And uh, I appreciate those of you that have been in my, uh, my comments and also my Instagram DMs as well. <laughs> <laughs> Telling me that it's uh, Gonzalo, not Goncalo. My apologies. Well, the clean sheet might have slipped for our fingers, but a win was never going to. I talk about it all the time, but responding from failure, do it with actions, not words. Just get that performance sorted on the pitch. That is one of the wins of the season now. Absolutely amazing first half an hour as we close out a huge three points to stay in the top four. And unfortunately, post-game, uh, as I've been delegating some loans here for the uh, the two youngsters who got out of the academy, I'm going to retract that last Palomar's one, because I'd rather get into Rangers, to be honest here. A little bit more realistic, and um, going to Glasgow. Worked for Scott Clark when he went to Celtic. Maybe it will for Brennan at, uh, at Ibrox. But uh, the Cameron injury was uh, another broken toe. Classic, classic career mode injury and done for three months of Cam. <laughs> what, what a way to come back. One game, get to goal, and then he's, he's done for the season again, man. Typical, but one of those things. Can't be helped, so there we go. But I might, actually, I might readjust the injury sliders after that. I might tone down the frequency ever so slightly, just to 75. Again, we're a European team. We're going far in the Cups as well. Of course, we're going to have more injuries than the average team, but maybe we just had a couple too many that have been the same injury. Again, I've said this before, the problem is not the injuries, it's the type of injuries, you know. It's practically always a broken toe or a bruise, you know. EA, variety is the spice of life. Give me something different. Right, uh, let's dive into the following game. And let's see, it's our final game today. Nottingham Forest in South Wales. The game's been brilliant. So let's end on this one here as we go for back-to-back -back wins for the first time in a long time. Still in the top four, get a game in hand on Manchester United. We cut the gap on Man City to possibly two points if they lose this game here. 
here and we'll also go seven clear in Newcastle if they fail to match our result as well. Final game today, Forest Iron should be a banker. Come on, you swans. Come on, come on. So we're going to go winning one and ending the Baron run. We need to keep it going. We need another one to follow directly afterwards. And this again should, should be a banker. There's a win to throw there. And I'd, I'd rather... Can Tattoo come and take this? There we go, there we go. So some people ask me how you change the throw-in take. If you've got a player with a long throw-in play style, just when, when you've got the ball uh, held in a player's hands, just don't press any buttons. Don't press any buttons at all, and eventually they'll call the, uh, the player over to come and take it for you. Now, if I can get a switch here of Ole Anya, there we go. Jamal's got a bit more height than him. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Nubel makes this out. I think it was quite comfortable, to be fair, but oh, <laughs> what an effort! James, he's onside there. Forrest just stopped playing. And Kanunen helps it into the middle when there's no one on the end of it. Forrest, I think Forrest are expecting a flag. They just stopped playing. As Yusuf slides it through. And there's a man out wide there in Jordan. Great turn by Dan James. Jordan. Kanunen acres of space. He's not going to miss that. And Anton Kanunen left out of the game at North London. Says, I'm back. And I'm back on the score sheet. Swans in front. We know. Like, we, we, we all, all of us know. Ev everyone here. All of you watching, everyone commenting, myself presenting, we all know Kanunen is never, ever, ever going to hit the heights. He deserved to. But he'll always hit the heights in our hearts, man. The rifle gets the job done. And speaking of, oh, what a save by New Bell to deny Jamal his, uh, his second in two starts here in South Wales as we still live, uh, lead by one. He, he, he'll always have a spot in his team as Dedic heads wide. Because of the fact he never lets me down. Yeah, the rating is important. Yeah, the potential is important. The most important thing is the performances. And Kanunen very, very rarely lets me down. Bringing on Creswell. He's going to look to shut up shop here. And Matondo coming on for a bit of pace as well. As we desperately try and cling on to what would be a, uh, a big three points. Back-to-back -back wins for the first time in a while. And a guaranteed place in the top four. So close today's episode off out. Just, just got to hold on to the ball. Hold on to the ball. And the points are ours. Get a second goal. And the points are definitely ours. Tattoo, what a ball. Jamal, can he finish? Oh, what a goal that would have been. Well, we might all get our second goal. In the end, we do hold on for the victory. And back-to-back -back wins keep us in the title race with seven games to go. That'll do it for today's episode, guys. So, big thank you for watching. We really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this episode, please drop a like. Much of you all have a fantastic day. And we'll return with the penultimate episode of the season. Where we'll play, I'd say, five or maybe six of the remaining seven games. Five behind Man City. Trying to keep our faint title dreams alive. Most importantly, trying to keep Aston Villa and Newcastle at bay and hold on to a Champions League place. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love to you all. And I'll see you for another episode of Season 5 very soon.